this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, uh, I was thinking, I don't know, I bought, I, lime is my favorite color, lime green. I love it. Oh my goodness, I just love lime green. And I've been going through my stash. I have a container full of this color. I must, I don't know how much I paid for this. I don't know where I bought it, but I bought two skeins of this lovely, lovely yarn and it's super bulky, but I, can you see it's hand painted? <clears throat> see, when you see it online, you buy it, you don't know what you're getting it, right? So I don't know, it, it looked different when I, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat. Mm. You don't know what you're buying. You don't know what you're getting. You just see the picture and you fell in love with it. So I fell in love with this. I don't know. It was so gorgeous. But when I received it, it's like, oh my God. Okay, the the green is good. But can you see, like in person, face to face, when I look at it, I, I don't like the faded color. It, it, it's, it's not catchy. I don't know. I, I don't like it. So I haven't done anything with it. I haven't crocheted or anything. But it's the touch, the feeling of this yarn is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So it is 70% um, merino, 20% alpaca, and 10% silk. I must have paid a fortune for this yarn. And the yarn is from Chile, but it is gorgeous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dye this yarn. So let's go ahead and let's dye it and see how it's going to turn out. I still want to keep the lime color, but I want to put something more alive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this two skein of water in uh, vinegar water and then let it sit. And I will come and show you how to dye it. And I'm going to use natural dyes like food dyes, juice dyes, Kool-Aid dyes that I have. I've been collecting I haven't throw them out so uh yeah it says here mother and daughter did my, my mother and I joined our talents and experience I don't know maybe I read the story this is this has been sitting so I want to create something and make something for myself and it's pretty bulky as you can see so let's get started I'm gonna put this in vinegar water and I'll be right back okay I'm back a couple of years ago, my son said, Mom, I don't want these. I don't want to drink them anymore. This is what they are. And they are like Kool-Aid. They die. <laughs> like I painted, I painted, I dyed this yarn from this. The bottom was pretty dry, so what I did is I put water. Let's Still sitting there and I dyed this and I didn't put much actually and it turned out perfect so I thought to myself I found another skein skein of yarn so I must have bought three of this <sighs> what can you do so what I did is I washed it I don't understand like it's a pretty I searched it up it's a pretty popular company. Looks like they never washed it after they dyed it. I have I washed it, washed it for almost half an hour to get rid of the dye because I'm going to redye it, right? Now it's been sitting in vinegar and water for over half an hour now. Yeah, so I just wanted to compare it. I kept this one. <laughs> and then there's two skein and what I did skein, what I did is I did like a S on both and I put it in so when you pull it like when you push it you can see it but other than that maybe I should take some out maybe it's too much because I'm just gonna put a little bit of dye because uh, I just want to get rid of these um, faded color it doesn't look good yeah it's pretty there's pretty much water here right you can see yeah, I'll just dump that I don't want much water because I just want it to dye it a little bit just wanted to share you this uh, idea. I have so many lime color, but this three skein was sitting for years now, like since 2010. So what I did is I collect these bottles. These are hot sauce bottles. 
I, you know, I des I sanitize them. They're perfectly good instead of you know paying for bottles. I'm just gonna dump this uh, dye that I have dyed, and then go from there. I just need to move it to the sink. And I just wanted to point out it was smelling so bad, so I used this first. I used uh, Dawn just to get rid of it, but it, the paint the dye was coming up and it was smelling very bad. So just to give it a little smell, I used this, and this kind of covered the smell. <laughs> oh, can you do? I don't. My nose is so sensitive. So I'll just empty this. I'm gonna use a little bit of this, and this is this is what happens when you dye it with. Uh, I've been dying for years. I've been dying painting yarn for years, and I just love it just love how it turns out you never know what your when what's going to come up but the end results are perfect i just want to show you how the color is from that this is the dye that i use and there's lots of i can dye hundreds of yarn with this dye well of course mixing and matching okay let me just dump this water I also have these dyes. I have food dye. Let me see. I think I have purple. I have blue. So these are food dye. These are juice dye. This is purple. I have green. I open this one. Again, I have the same red color that I made out of that. And I have this brand. Laylock, and then again a blue color. So let me see. If I open this one, I can try. No, this one's not open. I don't want to open the ones that are not open. Uh, with yellow and um, this one's not. Open. With yellow and green, you make blue, don't you? Oh, I have to check my. Oh, okay. This one has, but this is a uh, chemical. I don't want to use chemical because I cook with this as well. I just want to use food, related food. Okay, so um, let me see if this one is open. No, this one is not open either. <laughs> None of them were open. Check the red one. Okay. Well, I'm not going to open them if they're not open. I'm just going to use the ones that are over there. Okay. So, I have this. Green, I don't want to use green. Green, I don't want to use green, but uh, let's see. I have more dyes upstairs. Oh, my goodness. I have dye everywhere. Okay, so I'm going to just put a little bit, a little bit. Mostly, oh, like this, because this is an S. I'm just gonna do it randomly, maybe like this. more dark isn't it compared to the because maybe it's green I don't know I think this color is nice what do you guys think um, this is orange uh, Gatorade. It's actually Gatorade, but it's they're really dried up. Oops! I shouldn't have wet this. Yeah, maybe. 
just use this one oops see what I did <laughs> my goodness should uh, wet this these two so uh, I'll put them in a container but I don't have many I don't think the, the Kool-Aid I think they changed the packaging we used to buy those small packages but these have sugar in it so I don't think this is gonna work even a little bit of dye would help one's a uh, hot pink smells still good it's the color that I'm using I didn't throw it that's the reason I kept it Are these ears it must be two years old I did dye other uh, yarn with it and it did work but with the orange I didn't use one of the blue one of these food coloring I'm gonna open it and try this I think the liquid works better right away <laughs> okay so let's try this blue let's see how strong that is Oops. I think the liquid is better yeah I'll make the the last time I made those, uh, they weren't that uh, dry. Wow. What do you guys think? <laughs> it's like uh, playing with candy. I used up all the container. Okay. Yeah, this didn't last long. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this and I'll be back. Okay, I noticed the Kool-Aid is not strong enough. Even I put the water, as you can see, it's not that dark. Did put a little bit more. And, uh, yeah. So I'm going to flip this. Before I do that, I'm just thinking, what else can I do? Okay, I'm going to flip this because I want to see how the other side is. Okay, um, I think it's I think it's working. I'm gonna put this in the microwave for a minute and I'll check and I'll put it another minute and then I'll go from there. 
but I think the back is okay. That's what it looks like when I turn it. Uh, maybe I should flip it just to be on the safe side. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's always. Oops, I don't want to. This green turned into lime. I love the color. Look at this. If you dyed this with pure uh, natural color, oh my goodness, I can't believe. Can't imagine how it would turn out. This is the Gamma's Labs. My son used to be addicted to them. I don't know. And then suddenly he got tired of it. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to hold it like this. It's going to be tough. But, uh, oopsie. Because it's like an S, right? And I want to flip it. Oh, wow. Got the other side. I think this color is way better than it was before. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit on. Oh, my hands are dyed. I'm gonna color, put a little bit more color on this side, and I'll be right back. Okay, this is how it looks like on this side. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pop this in the microwave, like I said, one minute until the water clears itself and this is how it looks like oh wow what do you guys think do you think this is way better or this color my goodness think about it how it's gonna turn out <laughs> okay i'll be right back okay i'm going to put a saran wrap just just to cover it so just like this before I do that and then the heat will work then we'll go from there can't wait for the end result okay so it has been in the microwave I put it for one minute two minute and I kept on doing that until 10 minutes so it's been in the microwave for 10 minutes so I don't know the blue is still there so I'm gonna wash this but I would recommend you to because this is hot just boil put it put water in your kettle and then boil it and just wash it with hot water because you don't want to fell this gorgeous yarn I think it turned out pretty good but we're not done yet I'll be right back after washing or well, maybe I'll just show it to you just let me move this to the sink okay I'm just filling the sink I'm going to be dumping this. Oh, it smells like uh, Caterade. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is hot water. I had the uh, hand soap in this container. So this is the what I'm using. It smells gorgeous. And I'm gonna pour, I boiled some hot water. So I'm just gonna let it sit there. And then I will rinse it. And then uh, you can put fabric softener if you want. You can put anything you want. It's pretty hot now. <laughs> and I'll be right back. Okay, this is how it looks like. I've been rinsing, rinsing. I rinse until there's until I get clear water, but still, I don't know why. Maybe that blue food coloring is it too strong. But it turned out perfect. Look at this! Oh my goodness! I just can't believe it. Look how it, when you compare it, <laughs> this was so dull. It was so week and look at this love it love it love it love it so what i'll do this what i'll do is i will hang this for about two days it will take two days to dry and then i will come back to show you i'm gonna even start a project maybe i don't know we'll see but i will put pictures when i hang it after this after i'm 
done with the, uh, the showing off how to dye. <laughs> but uh, yeah, do rinse it with hot water because uh, it's been in the microwave for 10 minutes. Even I did it for one minute each. Yeah. See, it's clear water's coming. Before I washed that green hay, like the one when I it was just green color coming, so I don't think they wash it. But I just love how it turned out. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish this and hang it, like I said, for two days at least, so it will be dry enough. Cause it's winter, right? Even it's so warm inside. So I squeeze it. Cause it's hot to my hands. Are, see my finger, they were all dyed, they're gone. And uh, I hope you like this short uh, tutorial on how to dye on uh, dyed yarn. The yarn is very quality. It's super soft. It's 70% merino, 20% alpaca, and 10% silk. So it's gorgeous. It's 100 gram. So I have 300 gram here. It's bulky weight yarn. It's gorgeous. I just didn't want to waste it. It's been sitting there for years and I didn't feel like it wasn't talking to me but now it is <laughs> again if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and happy knitting happy crocheting okay before I let you guys go I just wanted to show you I hanged it up here in my laundry room and uh, I will let it sit there for at least two days well I will check if it's dry and I will go from there. Oh, I love it how it turned out. <laughs>